Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to the park. Now, today we're going to do an intermediate mat cardio, which is really good for strengthening, getting that whole body work over and keeping that core nice and pulled up and tailbone tucked under to keep the length in the spine, even though we're on the mat. Okay, let's get started. We're going to take our parallel feet, hip distance apart at the end of our mat. And we're gonna start off, we're really pulling up through the whole body. So we take a breath in through the nose and a breath out with a soft knee to reach those arms forward and up to the sky, keeping those shoulders down. Now tuck that tailbone under and the tummy in. With another in breath, we're going to reach for the sky and open nice and wide into our our second position, rotating in the shoulders with the palms down, feeling that breadth across the whole chest. As we go all the way down, we tuck the chin, we peel down one vertebrae at a time. I'm slowing this down to show you before we really go for it, walking our hands along that mat into our plank position. Really focus on your alignment. Don't let that tailbone stick upward. Make sure you have a nice flat back. Head is in the same line as the spine. So we're really feeling the length out of the crown of the head and through the tailbone here. And we're gonna hold it just for a second before we start to contract in that tummy with that in breath again. And on the out breath, we push and march those hands back to the toes, peeling the heels to the floor getting that stretch through that calf as we contract in the tummy again to peel ourselves up. Head is low, heavy arms, and then we breath in and breath out to rotate and stand tall again with that out breath. Let's do it a little bit faster. We breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, and hold just for a second. Come back, one, two, three, peel up, one, two, three, and rotate and stand tall. Okay, now you've got that. We're going to do it at full speed. Four times with a short break and four times straight away again to get that little bit of cardio going. Breath in to prepare and breath out. We reach, come down, peel through, walk it out, hold still, walk it back, peel up, rotate, peel down to reach tall and open. Head peels down, reach out, feel the length, come back. That's two, peel up, rotate, reach down, reach tall, reach up, peel down, keep it going and reach for the length, come back. Last time, here we go, breath in, keep breathing, up and out, come down, reach tall, come here to the length, squeeze that glute as you come up. This is the last one to hold before we come down, we peel it through and we come to our next exercise. Hands directly underneath those shoulders and we're going to feel that strong position, nice and square. We're going to reach the hand, each opposite side to tap that shoulder. Here we go, we go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Breathe, keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, and go again. Here we go, it's one, two, hold that tummy nice and firm, five, six, seven, eight, Hold, two, three, and four. Okay, get ready. Hold on to those tummy muscles. We're gonna draw with the out breath, the knee to the same elbow and pop it back. Other side, in and back. Four times, then we cross. Four times. Here we go, we go. One, two, three, four, cross, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, and cross. Two, three, Four and get ready, run on the spot for five, six, seven, and eight. We do that again. Here we go, breath in to prepare, breath out. We reach knee, two, three, four, cross, one, two, three, four. Again, two, three, four, cross. Get ready to run on the spot and go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and plant. Okay, very carefully. You're going to lower one knee and then the other knee and we're going to just squeeze that tailbone back into that rest position. Now feel that long stretch through the arms and as you come up, you're going to really push like an arrow, reaching back into plank. We go again, one, squeeze the glutes and push. And again, lower and out breath. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Now, see if you can hold onto those core muscles, squeeze those glutes and do that without lowering the knees. Here we go. We go one and squeeze and three and 
four. Feel those thighs and those glutes working. Five and six and seven. Last one, eight and hold. Okay, very gently lower those knees one at a time and push back into that tailbone. Feel that stretch, lower the elbows, engage the core, contracting the tummy through cat back and slide the hands with the pull of the tummy leading up to that high sitting kneeling position. Rotate those shoulders back, rotate the elbows back, reach in full circle with those arms to make sure you're really opening that chest and sitting nice and tall in that kneeling position. I'm going to work those arms just a little bit. We're going to take a little bit of a reach with those arms behind us. And then to take them a little bit higher, we're going to pull up in that tummy with that in-breath and out-breath, we're going to hinge from the hips and lean a little bit forward. So you really have to hold on to your tummy muscles so you don't topple over there. Hold it there. And then we're going to raise those arms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it high and cross the wrists apart. Here we go, pulling apart and crossing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, open. Now, if that's not enough for you, a little bit more of a flat back. Hold those core muscles. Don't let it go. We raise those arms higher. We go one, two, three, four. I feel my upper arm working nice and hard. Cross one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, open again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, high. Cross two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, open. Breath in to release that chin to the chest. Breath out, engage the core and sweep those arms forward to come up and release. Okay, taking a moment just to release those toes behind and sit down nice and safely. We reach forward and we open into our side plank. Sliding that arm away, taking the support with that elbow. And then letting the elbow, uh, the knee, sorry, come a little bit further away so the heels are in line with the tailbone. The elbow is drawn closer to be directly under that shoulder so we get full support for the upper body there. So what we're going to do is we're going to now work those obliques on the lower side and the upper side. So first of all, get those feet nicely aligned, nicely stacked. Breath in to prepare into the nose, breath out. We push the hand on top of the stacking hand here and we squeeze those hips off the floor to really feel the contraction in this oblique. We do that eight times. We go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and release. Now, if you're feeling nice and strong, release that hand and do it without the extra support. Here we go. If you want to keep that hand down there, you can. Another eight, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and bring it down. Now leave that hand up there if it's already there. If it's not, take it up there for me because we're gonna work this oblique a little bit by lifting that top leg, rotating in the hip line and contracting here, squeezing that elbow into the knee and then releasing and reaching high again. Get that breath in on the reach and breath out as we contract here. We go for eight, we go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Okay, reaching it back for the first position. Do it all again, here we go. Put the hand down to begin with if you want to and get that position right first and then we reach it up nice and tall. Here we go, breath in, eight in each position. It goes, out breath, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze with that out breath, release, go straight away, don't hang around, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bring it down and pull in that tummy to go contract in that oblique, reach, two, and out breath, keep it going, for five, and six, and seven, and eight, Eight, well done. Now we have to repeat that all on the other side. Hand goes down, engage the core, contract to bring those knees into the tummy and swivel round on that tailbone to the other side. Hands down, just get yourself nicely centered. 
hand goes wide just to go down safely. Then we bring it closer so that the elbow and the shoulder are nicely stacked. Knees are stacked. On that hip bone here, we have the feet in line with the tailbone and then we have the top hand to support us. So here we go. We're gonna push up, engaging this oblique, contracting with that out breath. Breath in to prepare. Relax the neck. Let that neck have a little bit of a circle if you're feeling any tension there before we go. Breath in. We go on the out breath. We go for eight. One and two. Squeeze those glutes. Three. Keep the thighs together. Keep it going. Four more. That's six and seven and eight. We raise the hand. Breath in to go up again. It goes out. Two. Three. Really lift. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Come down, prepare. We're going to rotate in that hip and bring knee to elbow. Contract that oblique and reach. Two and reach. Three and reach. Four and reach. Five and six and seven and eight. We go again. Breathe. Bring it down. Prepare with the in breath to go again. Reach it up and two and three. Out breath for five and six and seven and eight we go with the high arm if you can two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight prepare breath in get ready to rotate that leg one and reach contract reach contract really reach high then contract keep it going for five and six and seven and eight and come down well done bringing that arm down we're just going to take a moment to rotate onto our front from here nice and easy keeping that upper body lifted elbows high just so that you can really feel that openness in the tummy as we've done that intense workout with those abdominals palms up just to help me to think of opening my shoulders here then I'm going to take my arms a little bit wider to the edge of the mat and plant the palms down. And if you need to slide the hands further away to give you more movement to lift that body a little bit higher to make it a little bit easier, that's okay. So if I slide my hands away to the front corners and I keep that lift in the upper body, I release my legs behind me and really feel the stretch through the chest and opening up those tummy muscles. If that's a little bit too easy and you feel more supple, bring the hands a little bit closer and push again with that out breath really opening up those tummy muscles and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth and let that hip line just hang okay get ready breath in we're going to just start to pull up and engage and out breath we're going to push back walking the hands into our rest position just to give ourselves a little bit of a stretch through that cat back by just lifting into all fours once and then rocking back a little bit two Contracting in that tummy, looking down at your belly button, and four, and then opening up the chest by softening those elbows, and then opening up into that lifted chest position, opening up the tailbone, and then coming back into flat back one more time. I want you to reach those hands just to finish our last stretch, further forward down your shoulders, taking one hand underneath the supporting hand palm is up now i'm going to sit as deep as i can in that parallel line to really stretch that lower armpit and upper arm and then when i can't go any further i'm going to twist into it and look over that top shoulder so that i really get the stretch in that lower oblique and in that lower arm area all around that shoulder joint breathe into it before you come up again breath in plant the hand breath out breath in Notice my hands are further than my shoulders. Taking that other hand underneath, palm up, trying to keep as straight as you can, sitting deep with the out breath. When you can't go any further, then you twist into that side position, looking over that top shoulder, keeping that palm up and sit deeper with the tailbone if you can, feeling that lovely stretch through that lower oblique and that lower shoulder area. Hold it there for a couple of deep breaths, in through the nose and out through the mouth, before you peel yourself up again, releasing that arm, tuck the toes underneath, walk yourself back here, and just roll through those feet, nice and gently. Taking a moment to feel that lovely stretch in the ankles, and in the calves, 
and then just seeing if you can just slide one leg through and then take the weight on the hands and slide the other leg through to come into the centre of your mat, into sit up, hands around the lower part of the leg, engage the core to slide those feet even closer to the uh, bottom and the thighs to the chest and then contract in the tummy and gently peel yourself down for your last lovely, lovely stretch. We're going to just lengthen one leg away and flex and point and circle the feet. Lengthen the other leg away and flex and point and circle those feet. And for the last thing, to bring me up nice and safely, that free arm, is, that free leg rather, is there ready to swing. Using the weight of my own body, I'm going to contract in my tummy to bring my head up and I'm gonna nod my head with my leg, watching the toe and then I'm going to take it in the core muscle so I engage the core and I come up in one piece nice and safely and I'm ready to have that well-deserved drink to rehydrate at the end of class. Now if you like that video don't forget give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.